been living on bothers. I already have my diploma anyway, so I don't know why she's trying to force me anymore. Elite education. Private schools are so stuffy. Are we there yet, Mom? Mom! I know you hear me. <sighs> okay, just ignore me, I guess. What? I was just asking a question. Alright, so... What does getting kicked out have to do with anything? You can still answer. Huh. Maybe I wouldn't keep getting kicked out if you stopped trying to force me into higher education. This is literally all for your benefit to brag to your dumb friends, Mom. Huh. Maybe I'm annoyed because I transferred to too many schools. Maybe I just don't want to go to this new school. Maybe you should ask me what I want for once. You know, like a parent that actually cares about their kid. Oh, yeah, right. Let's talk. Let's talk about how you don't care about my life and how you don't respect me. Let's talk about how you're always treating me like a child. Let's talk about how you can't even be bothered to ask me what I want and need and instead you just make choices for me. Let's talk about how you don't even know what I want or need because you're too busy making sure you have a successful kid. You're not going to make me a happy kid by trying to force your definition of success on me. I have my own definition of success. It involves doing what I want to do and living the way I see fit. You know, like adults are allowed to. I'm 19. I think I'm capable of making my own choices. I already told you I don't care if it's an all-girls school. I'd still much rather go to a co-ed school. I just don't like being around a bunch of girls who think they're better than everyone else. I can't believe I had to go to another school with stuck-up rich girls. I can't believe I'm sitting in this stupid car, and I can't believe I- I don't care about us being wealthy, Mom. I just want to follow whatever my heart says. Not chase after being rich or just because you want to. Can I not just have my own brain that isn't steered by you for once? Fucks by the looks of it. Wonder how long it'll take me to get kicked out of this one. Hey, it's a pattern. You can still keep sending me to these dumb places. So, when are you gonna pick me up? No, what? Mom, what do you mean I'm gonna be living here now? You're, you're joking, right? She organized for all my stuff to be sent here behind my back? I hate her. I swear I fucking hate her. When I find a way out of here, I'm leaving and never fucking speaking to you again, Mom. Mom! Fucking bitch. What am I even doing here? Seriously, I shouldn't even be here. I already can't even deal with this fucking place. I hate it so much. What am I gonna do here? I never get to do what I wanna do. I try to escape and... Mom just keeps finding new ways to keep me in these elite school prisons. I wish I could just get away from her forever and never have to hear her stupid voice again. I guess I should go inside since I'm stuck here anyway. Oh look! Seconds in the building and I'm already seeing girls wearing expensive name brand shit. Of course. What's my schedule? Business, of course you are. Cooking, mathematics. Film studies, English, Japanese. Hmm? Who's that guy? And why is he staring at me? What the hell are you looking at? Do you have a problem? Oh, I recognize the name on your shirt. You're my English teacher. What do you want? Damn, where were these attractive young teachers of my old school? All I've seen in the staff in my old schools were old people. But him, on the other hand. Well, nice to meet you too, I guess. But enough with the friendly shit. Let's get down to the nitty gritty. My mom told you guys about my behavior issues in my past schools, didn't she? She always does that in every school she forces me into, and I could tell that's why you were staring at me. She's under this 
delusional assumption that eventually one of these dumbass update places will straighten me out. And I know this place is really notorious for it, but I'm my own thinker. So good luck trying. You're just gonna have to deal with me. Hmm, this could be entertaining for me. He looks a bit annoyed and yet he's holding his tongue. Maybe I can pull a little social experiment and see how long it takes for me to break his composure. You know, for a second I thought you were gonna talk back to me. You looked like you wanted to. But I guess you're too scared to confront someone like me, huh? I'm sure you'd feel like a tough man if you could tell the principal how you stood up to me. You're just a weak one. I didn't think there made teachers like you anymore. My other teachers used to bark back at least. Jesus, all the teachers here are all professional and the students are stuck-up snobs. No wonder the school is such a high success, right? I'm just here to make your life harder. Hey, Tad will make it through this school for the rest of the year anyway. I wish I could look forward to graduating from this place, but I don't see that happening anytime soon. I'm not like the other goody two-shoes who don't question your authority. I'm smarter than that. I'm not gonna roll over and take your bullshit. I guess it's about time for me to go to my first class. I'm already getting looks from students because I'm talking to a teacher. Thanks for the conversation. Sayonara, bitch. I'm surprised he left. Does he think he's gonna get fired or something? Anyway, this could make for a fun semester. Today's been so long and exhausting. But as much as I can't stand my mom, I can't lie and say that none of the classes are fun at all. Cooking and film studies are pretty fun, but it still doesn't change my opinion on this damn school. A couple of girls try to talk to me too, but I've been pretty tight-lipped since this morning. Oh, there he is. Looks like his day's been a bit rough too. His hair is definitely a bit more all over the place since this morning. Although, even with his messy hair, he still looks hot. I heard some girls in mathematics gossiping about him, and I don't blame them. Rough day, huh? You look like you went through hell and back. My bad. Didn't mean to disrespect you in your own classroom. You look like you went downstairs and back. Is that better? Sit down. Not good. Class hasn't even started yet, so... Fuck, he's hot when he's pissed. This makes school a lot more fun. Whoa. Finally hearing a bit of spice in your voice for once. Guess you aren't perfectly composed all the time. Or what? Are you gonna force my ass into a chair or you all talk? I dare you to put a hand on me. You know... You're not in the position to be giving me orders. In case you haven't noticed, I'm the authority around here. Teachers have to keep their cool all the time and I can speak however I want and just get a verbal warning or expulsion at the worst. Sitting down is boring though. I'll just sit on your desk. Hmm. I saw your eyes flash to my thigh highs before you glanced back up at me. Maybe everyone should know you're a pervert. At attention. Okay, okay, you win for now. Be a good girl and sit down. Ah, oh, class is starting now. I guess I should pull out some notebooks. It's insanely quiet in here. It's probably one of the weirdest things about this school. All the students are 100% study focused and never act out at all. How boring. Yawn. Hearing him talk is so boring, too. Maybe I should make things interesting. Yes, sir? I don't know what you're talking about, actually. I didn't throw a pencil at the board. I didn't throw anything at you. Hmm, I don't see anyone here to witness your accusation. 
There's plenty of other students here. Why accuse me when you didn't even see who threw it? If you're gonna accuse me of something, at least be 100% sure about the events. Fuck it. I'm gonna make some sparks fly. Oops. I guess a pencil flew out of my hand on accident. I'm really sorry. How about you kiss my ass? This is my classroom now. Oh, wow, you're getting really red in the face. Aw, poor little English teacher gonna burst a vein, huh? <laughs> Disciplinary action? Oh no, God forbid I have to stay after class. Boo hoo. Ah, oh, fuck, there goes the principal. I guess I'm really in trouble now. I will be obedient. I will not be disruptive. I will be obedient, I will not be disruptive. I will be obedient, I will not be disruptive. Hey, how many more times do I have to write this? 2,000 more times? It's 9 p.m., you can't just keep me here all night. I didn't expect this school to have such serious punishments. Keeping me after hours to write this down 10,000 times is definitely cruel and unusual punishment. And the stupid teacher's been at his desk grading papers and watching me the whole time. Fuck him, honestly. Why do I have to do this? It's lame and childish, and I can't think of anything but how unfair it is. Oh, how wonderful I get to write lines on a paper repeatedly. Serves me right for being a smartass, I suppose. But if I have to suffer, so do you. I'm not doing this anymore, though. I don't have to listen to shit. What? You gonna try to force me to stay here? You know... I wonder what type of person you are after hours. Are you still composed, or do you actually have a pair of balls to say something back? Anyway, I'm going to my d He's blocking the doorway. He hasn't said anything, but I'm getting a really strange vibe from him. Um, can you move out of my way? Who do you think you are? <laughs> Taking matters in your own hands. As if. You don't scare me. Let go of my arm. What reason do you have to try to punish me more, huh? Nothing. His demeanor's so different now. He's an entirely different person. What the hell? You put brats in their place? What are you even on about? I'm, I'm not a brat. Just because I refuse to listen to dumb authority doesn't mean I have some secret motive over a weird desire to get punished. He's towering over me and I feel like I'm melting into a puddle. Why am I so nervous all of a sudden? This isn't like me. Whatever. You're just trying to intimidate me. You wouldn't dare to do anything weird with one of your students. I'd immediately tell on you and get you fired if you try to do anything to me. Huh. His face is so close to mine and he's touching my thigh. Why do I feel so... Okay, you're right. Maybe I wouldn't tell, but... I think you're bluffing with the dumb attitude you're trying to give off. <gasps> Maybe I spoke too soon. You just tore my panties off and hit me at the table. And he's... between my legs. Hey, you aren't gonna... I don't think he's bluffing anymore, but I can't let him see who I am underneath the brattiness. I can't let him know that I'm a sub that's actually enjoying this. 